I got me a big slab of Joe bacon. I'm gonna take it and get her sliced up. I have some up for breakfast tomorrow. Well, it looks appetizing, doesn't it? Are you slicing the rind off of it? Or is that what they call that? The skin or the rind? It's we're gonna call it rind right now. Is that what they make pork rinds out of? Mm -mm. Well, yeah, really, but not this. Got extras. You'd normally lay it down flat mm -hmm. and do that and you get the creases and whatnot, but you got the refrigerator, it's gotten soft. It was a lot harder than that when you got it, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I hadn't appreciated it for about a week. Yeah. You just want to get the rind off of it. I'm going to have to edit part of that out because I was showing you a big belly. You want to put sure enough? <laughs> no. I got this one right here. Huh? There's another one to do. No, I just, I'll lean, I'll turn this way and it's his belly stuck out there like a pregnant woman. Well, let me just sure enough. <laughs> no, it's okay. It looks a little cleaner and better that way. Yeah. We're just going to slice it this way. So that's our stays on there? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. That's that one. Let me just turn off. You're going to do my big belly. <laughs> I won't tell them that's who it is. I didn't see a damn thing, it's one of the other squirrel. I did see a squirrel. Oh, bacon. Deeper into it. Yeah. It's got a meat house smell to it. Looks like good meat smelling. I don't need a good smoke. Got a pile of bacon and the scraps gonna be on soup beans. Oh Lord. If you ain't ever ate y'all bacon, this here's been hanging in the meat house right out of the year. Joe bacon, I guess that's where they get the term cut from ear to ear, because you cut the jaw off off the hog right here. Meat house bacon's got a salty meat house taste to it. And a lot of people don't like it because of the meat house taste. But to me, it's got a good taste to it. I'm going to take some more of this jaw bacon. I'm going to add a little liquid smoke to it, because my smokehouse ain't done yet. I'm going to put some of this pure country honey on it. Let it marinate overnight, and I'll fry it up tomorrow. I'll take the pure honey, put my cup. Ah, that's getting close to being enough. I'll take this plain old liquid smoke. It's my honey. I'll put it in the microwave and warm it up. 
and I put it on the bacon. Let it marinate overnight, then we'll have it good to go. Here's the honey and liquid smoke warmed up. It's a whole lot thinner now, and I'll pour it in the bag with the bacon. I get smushed up together, make sure everything's good and coated. Put it in the refrigerator overnight. That honey and liquid smoke will get into that jaw bacon. Oh, it'll be wonderful. This is the jaw bacon I've uh, been marinating in honey and liquid smoke for about three days now. I'm going to get her fried up. <laughs> I got me another batch of jaw bacon in the skillet. I'm gonna go ahead and start on this batch here. It's already done. Boy, it looks good. Hmm. Boy, that honey and liquid smoke really makes it good. Takes a little bit of that meat house taste out of it too. Wow. Well, I wish I had me some fresh tomatoes to go with this. Mm. Yeah, I guess y'all bacon try sometimes. Pretty good eating. 